Hey, Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rachak, with us. The Ba'anus and the Elders of Apostles Great Millstone. The Elders of Great Millstone, and of course, peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the sincere servants of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Sermon, and Meshuth, and Sincerity. Yes, so we're coming back with another lesson to the Spirit. This lesson will be based off of, of course, from uh, nationalnews.com. Which uh, I came across an article which reads, <clears throat> Critics slim who for declaring war against meat and calling for a worldwide shift to plant-based diet by 2025. Yeah, man, and as you, you know, as we move on day by day, you get, you know, even crazier and crazier news that pops up. Well, you know, <laughs> not too long ago, yeah, basically Bill Gates saying that or not, not even, uh, you know, just one of these CC people, you know what I mean? Saying that basically cows and cattle and farm animals are, you know, basically rising uh, CO2 just by breathing alone. And, you know, basically we got to we got to lessen them because of that. Hey, the, the, these are the people who are ruling. These are the people who have power over laws, they have power over the money, with the elite international bankers. They're the ones who, you know, push for this. This is, this is their agenda. So it says, critic obscuring the world. You see that? This word right here. It says, obscuring the who for using sea scare tactics to convince the world <clears throat> that avoiding meat is in the best, or it's a, in their planet's best interest. Yeah, and keep in mind these guys, whatever these guys say is a planet's best interest. But, you know, apparently you have to listen to that. Just because they have this high seat, yeah, you know, you, you have to listen to them, right? They can say a load of anything that's completely pseudoscience, that's completely not backed up by, you know, any scientifically or it's not even backed up by, you know, evidence or nothing. But they can just say it. They can use pseudoscience and... <laughs> it says the head of who, Tedros at uh, Hanum, said at the recent COP28 conference that the world shall shift the plant-based diet in order to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions. <clears throat> it says our food system or uh, harming the health of our people and planet, he said. Food systems contribute to over 30% of greenhouse gas emissions and account for almost one-third of the global burden of disease. Yeah, and these guys can just... And then, you know, here you have it. Esau probably using technicalities. If these numbers are even true, you know, Esau will go out of his way to, to, to prove this number right here, but or, you know, these numbers. But what the point is, none of this is making sense. Esau just wants to move closer and closer to this uh, environmental CC, you know, agenda, and as, as as well as many other things, you know. We already know that, again, Esau wants more control. He wants to bring down the population. He definitely wants to, you know, limit the foods, limit the resources we have access to. And, you know, I'm speaking mainly to us Israelites. Esau, he's after our people. I mean, Margaret Sanger herself said that, you know, basically they they, they wouldn't want, or, or how did that quote go? Basically that they're trying to keep our people from knowing that, you know, they're really after us. Basically paraphrasing that, that quote she made. So we understand that Esau is after our people. But what, there's just, there's just another step to, you know, to this new society that Esau wants to trans, transition to. So it says he estimates that 8 million lives could be saved each year with this one change. Although shifting away from red meat has been recommended for many years for health reasons. His motivation, yeah, I mean, of course, is, is good eating meat in moderation. You know, you're not supposed to be going crazy because, you know, you can get sick. But moderation is key. 
It says, but what? You know, these devils want to completely hoard away all the meat. Because, hey, you already know. You think the elites, what? they, they You think the elites are going to be eating plant-based diets, man? And, you know, bugs and insects? Because that's, you, we already know. They want to transition into everyone having a diet of uh, insects. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and look that up. I'm not, you know, just pulling that out of my... Pulling that out of nowhere. So it says... His motivation here appears to be purely environmental, with a uh, context note on a video of him declaring war on meat, noting that sea change refers to long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns, mainly caused by human activities. And if Esau was so concerned about the environment, he would completely change the direction of this whole society. But, you know, Esau wouldn't want to give up, but this new age... Um, you know, basically, uh, there's this new age society that we're in. What everything's ran off of technology, factories, cars, fuel, which you know it's all causing it's all causing pollution. Esau's not willing to give that up. You know, Esau loves his uh society the way he got it set up. He does, you know, because the best way to live, the best way for the earth is the ancient way. The way how we were living anciently, but we already know we can't live that way with us being in that this society right now. But if, the point is, if these devils were so, you know, focused on cleaning up the environment and, you know, really healing the earth, they would, hey, again, they would completely change the way, you know, this this entire society into a more uh, ancient manner. Basically not with these uh, factories or cars or just, uh, you know, all the stuff that causes pollution onto the earth. So it says, Isaiah 10 and 1, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and the right grievousness which they have prescribed. Exactly, man. So, yeah, the right unrighteous decrees. That right grievousness which they have prescribed. Yeah, yeah and uh, laws like this are uh, grievous. And, you know, uh, and as well as unrighteous, because here you have it, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, already made the earth in a perfect manner. And, and you know, he put cattle, and he put animals on earth for, you know, a certain reason. He put cattle, he put, uh, you know, bison. He put birds and, you know, just, just again, different type of clean animals, clean, you know, that, that's, that we can eat. That's meant for uh, consumption. And here you have, you have Esau trying to do away with it. And as well, well, for thousands of years, you know, you had uh, basically what? The, the ancient way was thriving, right? Cattle. You know, I mean, obviously what? The, the farming was going on. Was, you, you know, was there any uh, CC complaints or whatever that that the earth is getting blah 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 and the environment is getting messed up because nah man so we already know this is something that Esau just making up here you have you had you know for thousands of years there's no problem with the ancient way or you know farms and agriculture now Esau is saying it's a problem but again he'll, 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 he'll never talk about the things that are actually causing pollution if he does he'll, he'll, just, he'll just put it basically behind a, a charity and, you know, make you feel bad for it like it's your fault. And, you know, just just make you donate, give more money to him when he, he, could, he could easily solve the problem overnight. <clears throat> so it says Psalm chapter 73. And three, it says, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Yeah, and these, the elite international bankers, Esau, well, we already know Esau, of course. The biblical Edomites are what the Caucasians, you know, the, the so-called white people. When we read Job chapter 9, 24, we see how the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And then it also said how he covereth the faces of the judges thereof, meaning he covereth, well, I mean, first and foremost, the ultimate judge, which is the Lord Yahweh, 
the Heavenly Father Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shai. Well, he went ahead and put his image on our Lord, you know, and his son. And he 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 basically covered up what their image is and he put his image on them. That's why what well, you got this image of what uh Jesus Christ was not even the Messiah's name. But what they, they went ahead and put on basically the, this depiction which stems from Cesare Borgia of of you know basically a a, a white long haired demon Edomite with uh, leopard skin. That's what they've been doing. Well, and, well, you know, also what the, what the prophets, they completely covered up the, the images of the prophets. When you look up John the Baptist, you look up Moses, you look up uh, Apostle Paul, you look up anybody within the scriptures, they, they always seem to be an Edomite. They have leprous skin. They have it's, it's long, straight hair. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Esau, he, he covered the face of the judges of the earth. He wants to look like he's some superiority, which he isn't. So it says, for I was in Psalm 73, chapter, or it says, Psalm 73, verse 3, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands on their death, but their strength is firm. Yeah, getting that in the CSB. It says they have an easy time until they die and their bodies are well fed. Yeah, because that's how it is for these rich, wealthy people in power. Which, again, these elite and international bankers, but they, they, they have an easy time and they're chilling. They have all the money. They got trillions of dollars. It said, and their bodies are well, well fed. Yeah, they, 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 they never have to worry about going hungry. You know, they, they, they never have to worry about the next day. I mean, I mean, they're, they're obviously scared because what were the Israelites out here? You know, teaching the downfall of this kingdom, and what they're, they, they're scared. That's why they're pushing even harder, moving quicker because saying no that that he has but a short time. So he's moving quicker for his agenda because this devil's scared. But what well, the point is, what they got trillions. They're they're they they're, hey, they're, they're not suffering like our people are suffering. Verse five: They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Yeah, they're not in trouble as other men. Neither are, are they plagued like other men. Yeah, and they can do anything. Basically, to cause all this destruction and chaos on the earth. And they can put these certain laws in effect. And they don't get in trouble for it. Esau. I mean, Esau as a whole. I mean, the whole court system is uh, in favor for, you know, for them. That's why you, you see an Israelite going to the court system. You get 10 times the descendants as an Edomite would. If the Edomite even gets a sentence at all, you might even get let off for the same crime. Then the Jake. The Israelite will get ten times the descendants, as well as uh, you know, just just other things. They these guys are able to get away with a lot of stuff, so they're not in trouble like as other men, as neither are they plagued like other men. Verse six: Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain; violence covereth them as a garment. <laughs> yeah, because again, they're not in trouble. They're they're in the rulership. They're in their power. They run the earth currently because again the the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Lord is letting you know Esau rule because why? He's in his bless. He's in his blessing right now currently that Isaac gave unto him. It says they are not in trouble, as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Yeah, going. Just everywhere, man. You know, what they set up their military bases in all these other nations, they're they're able to cause wars, and set up propaganda in order to raid these other nations, other re, uh, resources, and have control over them. Esau, but well, he he's completely proud, 
It says verse 7, their eyes stand without fat or stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Yeah, these devils have everything. Again, that goes back to the blessing that Isaac gave unto Esau, that he will have the dew of the heaven and the fatness of the earth. So, you know, he'll, he'll have all the resources, all the gold, all the wealth. He'll have all the power. They got everything. It says they have more than heart could wish. So it's things that they have that you've never even seen before. Verse 8, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Yeah, going back. This is just one of the many things, man, the grievous things that, but again, these elites, Esau's pushing for. Like, come on, man. You you know, you just, you, you wake up every single day and then it's it's a news, it's more bullshit that, that comes out. Like like, you know, this right here. Saying that they want to do away with meat and move everybody to a plant based diet. So going back to this article, it says <clears throat> Skip it down. It says although the FAO claims the meat industry is harming the planet with this nitrogen and methane emissions, the jury is still out on this question. And researchers have found that methane actually traps heat in the uh, atmosphere and forms cooling clouds that offset surface warming, meaning that livestock farming could actually be cooling the planet. Yeah, and again, that's the natural way. Farming, the Lord, hey man, created farming. He he, what well, he he intended for there to be agriculture. And, and farming on the land and cattle and, and and all that and you know livestock, sheep. Lamb. He already intended all of that, that that's a natural way. But again, you got Esau. He's being the, the the demon, the devil that he is. He's gonna try to ban it. It says, ahead of the con uh, conference, Bloomberg News reported, nations that overconsume meat will be advised to limit their intake while developing countries where underconsumption of meat adds to a prevalent nutrition challenge we will need to improve the livestock farming. The criticism began to pile up almost immediately with lawyer and journalist Gordon Chang pointing out the WHO's connections to the uh, Chinese Communist Party. He wrote on X, Tedros and the WHO should be paying attention to China's uh, biological weapon program or weapons programs, including the Chinese genetic drugs. Instead of uh, pontificating on matters that are outside their scope of responsibility, other critics accused Tedros of hypocrisy such as Dr. Kat Lindley, who wrote, I wonder what plant-based delicacy he eats every day. Is he eating insect snacks when he's hungry? I suspect the answer is no. Sometimes I listen to his words and just wonder, what did he, what do we do to deserve this nonsense? Exactly. And that all goes back with that because the laws and the decrees that Esau pushes is completely grievous. You know, you, you wake up the next day, you it's another grievous law. Like, come on, man. You know, how does devil even think about putting out a law like this you know this is completely like <laughs> and then you know you're like damn like again because he saw he he's saying the physical counterpart is saying you already know that what well, saying he's always going to do stuff that gets in the way it, it's just annoying and, and pestering and that's exactly what Esau's doing So it's it's really not a surprise, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, and going back to that point, you think this guy who who is up there, you know, Tedros, he's gonna be eating, you know, insects and plant based crap, yeah, and yeah, and uh, you know, also you have that movie called Swan and Green, which is basically uh, within that movie you had a plant based food that was basically going around, and then within the movie it turned out to be humans. So who knows what this plant-based stuff is that they're giving us? I mean, it's already some reports, you know, what that actually is. You can you can go ahead and do the research yourself, but it's obviously something 
just completely, again, you know, vile and just disgusting. It's Psalm chapter 37 and 1. It says, Friend not thyself because of, of evildoers, neither be grievous, or it says, Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Yeah, so, hey, you know, it says, friend not thyself because of evildoers. Yeah, so, you know, don't worry about these guys, what Esau and what they're pushing for, because, hey, at the end of the day, what, it's, it's all privacy. Esau is going to come down with a hammer, come down with great wrath. But what, it says, friend not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Yeah, because Yahweh Bashim Yashah is coming soon to take down his devil. It's a lot of things, even though Esau says that, oh, you know, by this year, we're going to make sure we have this in, in place and blah, blah, blah. We want to make sure, hey, Esau isn't going to accomplish everything. C can he get close to it? Yeah, maybe. But every single thing on Esau's agenda, including his NWO, he's not going to accomplish it. He's not going to accomplish every single one. But anyways, we knew we already know it's gonna get real bad out here. It's gonna be chaos. It's, you know, all hell is gonna break loose. So we expect that. But what? Esau won't be able to uh, fulfill his his what his ultimate agenda, which is that NWO. He might get a little bit, you know, a little taste of it. But he's never gonna fully fulfill it. Why? Because Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, he's gonna send back his son Yahweh Shai. You know, to take down Esau, to stop him from, from you know, his, his wickedness and his transgressions. And then also take down these other nations. And by set up his people, the Israelites, over everyone. Over, you know, all, all these other nations. Because we already know that the Lord will set Israel over all other nations. Because why? Because children, or, you know, the children of Israel are the Lord's people. The, the chosen ones. It says, Psalm chapter 37 and 1, Friend not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall be, it says, for they shall soon be cut off like the grass and wither as a green herb or the green herb. Yeah, exactly, man. Because Esau can be cut down like the grass, man. So yeah, I believe that's a point in the article. It says, to finish it off, it says, others felt he had a, uh, taken a puzzling stance for an African person with South African scientist Tim Noakes uh, commenting, Tedros must know that there is a widespread protein malnutrition in Africa and the goal of his organization should be to reverse that, not to make it worse. Instead, what he really wants to do is, get, is to give Africa more you see the word right there, V A double Lexus. One reason why he comes to visit visit my neck of the woods. So it also says, as alarming as the whose demands are, there are some C groups that are taking the, the insanity even further. For example, the C forty cities C <laughs> leadership group. And you see the word right there. And you know, I'm not even gonna attempt to say it. Because, you know, Esau is coming down, trying to take down our videos if we say one, one little buzzword. So it says, which is a globalist organization composed of almost 100 cities around the world. Wants to completely eradicate the consumption of both meat and dairy by 2030. So, again, while basically everyone is eating you know, because again, that's what they want to push. They want everyone to be eating insects and plant-based stuff and fake food while they have all the, the real food. They got all the best cattle. They got, the you know, the real fruit, the non-GMO, organic uh, food. They got all that stored up and they got these nice lush farms going. While... What they they want everyone else to, to eat trash and garbage and insects and plant based crap. This is the society we live in, man, and the, the, these are the people who are ruling over us, and and day by day Esau is revealing himself, coming out with these these grievous laws, and just is showing himself to be the wicked.
Like who's who again, you know, who who has that mind this mindset to to want to do shit like this? The question is the physical counterpart of Satan himself. That that's who would do it, which is again the Edomites. So it's Proverbs chapter twenty nine and two, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear the rule, the people mourn. To read again, Proverbs chapter chapter twenty nine and two. When the uh, righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Yeah, so when the righteous are in authority, for example, when King Solomon was in authority for the 40 years of peace, well, everyone was rejoicing. Even the other nations around King Solomon were rejoicing. What They were coming on to King Solomon, bringing him gifts and inquiring of his wisdom. And again, it was just a peaceful time period. The Israelites were rejoicing within that period. But compare that time, this time that we're in right now, everyone's mourning, everyone's stressed out. Our people, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, were the stressed out and oppressed out of all other nations on this planet Earth. So, you know, we're, we're catching it the most, and we've been catching it the most ever since... Well, 1492 and 1619. And, uh, you know, basically whenever, or again, you know, the, these time periods that they, that Esau came up against us and, and oppressed us and put us in slavery. So what, the, the people are mourning, man. And I mean, not only us, even these other nations are mourning, being under this devil. Got to work these jobs, you know, these jobs that really take you nowhere. You got to breathe in this default, you know, this completed air. You got to eat this default food. Even if you do buy organic, hey, the, the stuff that you get in the store, man, it's, all that is, you know, is basically garbage. Even though, again, you're doing better. And if, and if, if you can, if, if you can uh, buy, you know, organic food and, Better food, yeah, go. Um, that's that's the best choice. But <laughs> again, it's it's all poison. But again, you know, we we gotta pick the better poison, right? We gotta do our best. But still, hey, everything's the fall, man. That's the point. Life really shouldn't be like this. So when the righteous are in authority, once Yahweh Shai comes back. To take down these other nations, to take down Esau and set up his people, to rule. And keep in mind, once Yahweh Shai comes back, but the Israelites, well, he's going to say the elect uh, Israelites, they're going to receive their perfect bodies, and the second uh, covenant will kick in. And we're going to be able to rule over all these other nations with a rod of iron. And. Governing them by the law, statute, and commandments of the Bible, the Holy Bible. And what? The earth is going to go back in its righteous state. The, not going to be, the air is not going to be polluted anymore. The food and water. You're not going to have to worry about, you know, paying, just, or, you know, just, because again, we're, we're going to put these other nations in slavery, but. Concerning our people, we're not going to have to work anymore. What the Israelites aren't going to have to work. We're not going to have to pay taxes and catch hell, being under Esau and being oppressed. No, we're not going to hey, we're not going to have to go through that. So we're going to be rejoicing. And even these other nations will be rejoicing compared to this dump that we're in uh, currently. So it says, Psalm chapter 2 and 1, Why do the heathen... Rage and the people imagine a vain thing. Yeah, why did they imagine a society? Esau, why, why did Esau imagine a society where the masses are, are eating plant based insects or you know, just plant based diet in, in insects? Well, you know, basically, they could eat all the nice food and they basically get to hoard. The, the, the real food for themselves. 
Why did Esau imagine a society like that? <laughs> it's 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 crazy. Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine the vain thing? And this is just one of the many things that Esau delights in and just delights thinking about and planning within his uh, meetings. This is just this again. This is just one of the many unrighteous decrees and agendas that Esau is going for. But yeah, I believe that's the point, man. Ultimately, we need Yahweh Shai. Hey, we need Yahweh Shai to come back. To take down Esau and take down these other nations. Because, again, these, this devil, had his, Esau, has had his time to rule. And he completely messed it up. He completely messed up the earth. And look at, hey, look at, you know, the damage that he's done to the Lord's people, the Israelites. So without a doubt, Yahweh Shai is going to come back. They take down Esau. And they judge him. Ultimately, Esau is going to receive Obadiah chapter 1 and 18. Go ahead and read that for yourself. So, so Lord's way, brothers, are the edified. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Akakura, Shabrak, Thum, Shalom.